Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English Podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website, EspressoEnglish.net, where you can get online courses and ebooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. Hi, students. Today we're going to learn phrasal verbs with run. Run around, run for, run off, run on, and many more. Because these phrasal verbs are all so similar, it's essential to test yourself by taking a quiz to see if you remember the difference. You can download a free lesson PDF and quiz when you click on the link in the video description. Enter your email and you'll receive that free download. Let's start our study of these phrasal verbs with run after, meaning to chase or pursue. I ran after the bus, but it didn't stop for me. Run around has two meanings. One is to run around an area. For example, when I was a kid, I used to run around the neighborhood with my friends. Run around can also mean to be very busy doing many things. For example, sorry, I haven't had the chance to call you this week. I've been running around between work, school, and soccer practice. There's also a noun, run around, one word. To give someone the run around means to give them excuses and bad explanations so that they do not get the information or make the progress that they want. Run away also has two meanings. To run away from someone who is chasing you or run in the opposite direction from something. For example, everyone ran away from the explosion. The dog is running away from the boy. And another meaning is when a child or teenager leaves home because of problems with the family. She ran away from home when she was just 15. Run by and run past. These can literally mean when someone is running and passes a point. For example, we cheered for the marathon runners as they ran by. To run something by or past someone means to tell or show it to the person and ask for their opinion or approval. That's an interesting idea. Let's run it past the manager to see what she thinks. Run down can mean when a machine loses energy or power. Looks like that toy is running down. We'll need to replace the batteries. And we can also use it to describe a person feeling tired. For example, I'm going to take a nap because I'm feeling rather run down. The noun form run down, one word, means something totally different. A run down is an informal word for a summary of some information. For example, you missed yesterday's meeting. Let me give you the rundown of what we discussed. Run for means to try to be elected to a political or leadership position. For example, Mark is running for state senator, meaning he is a candidate. He wants to be elected. Next, we have run into. Run into someone means to meet the person unexpectedly. I ran into my English teacher at the shopping mall. To run into a problem means to encounter a problem. I ran into a few problems when I tried to install the computer program, so I had to call a technician. And we have the idiomatic expression, run into a brick wall, meaning encounter an obstacle that is difficult or impossible to overcome. For example, the peace negotiations ran into a brick wall when both leaders refused to compromise. Run off can be similar to run away. For example, the kids drank some water, then ran off to the playground. Run off can also be used to make photocopies. For example, can you run off 200 copies of this report? To run off with someone is when a married person abandons their husband and wife and stays together with a new lover. For example, the actor left his wife and three kids and ran off with a 20-year-old model. Run on means be powered by. Electric cars run on electricity, not gas. Run out of means to have none left. For example, we ran out of beer at the party, so we had to go buy some more. Run over can mean to hit something with a vehicle. For example, she's upset because she ran over a cat while driving home from work. Run over can also mean to take more time than planned. For example, the meeting ran over 20 minutes, so I was late for my next appointment. Run through can mean to explain quickly. For example, let me run through the schedule for the tour. Run through can also mean to quickly practice or rehearse a play, performance, song, or presentation. For example, I'd like to run through the presentation one more time to make sure everything's perfect. Run up can mean to run to somebody or something. For example, as soon as I come home from work, my kids run up to me and hug me. 
Run up can also mean to spend a lot of money on credit and to create a debt. For example, my parents ran up a debt of $10,000 on their credit cards. We also have run up against problems, which is the same meaning as run into problems to encounter them. And run with, meaning to spend time with people, normally bad. For example, my son's been running with a bad crowd. His friends like to cut class. That means not go to class. If you want to be fluent in English, then you need to know phrasal verbs because we use them all the time. You can review the ones we learned today by downloading that free lesson guide and PDF. Now, most traditional English textbooks don't focus on phrasal verbs, but I have a course that will teach you 500 common phrasal verbs in the context of conversations because it's an easy and natural way to learn them. Phrasal verbs and conversation is one of my most popular courses and you can find it at EspressoEnglish.net. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.